It's so fun. I know it's such a big part. Um, speaking for like the yoga teachers here to like see all of you in the studio, it's like the best thing in the world. So it's like really, really cool um, to see everyone's faces here. All right, so one more time for those of you that are just coming in, um, I am going to post the playlist for this class in the chat right now. So you can go ahead and start getting that queued up. Um, if for some reason it's not working for you, you can find my personal Spotify account. It's Isabel Allen Yoga. We are listening to playlist May, 2020. Um, and beautiful. I'm going to go ahead, get everyone on mute here. We got one more person coming in. Um, just a few things before we get started concerning the playlist. Um, this is going to be the same playlist if you were here last week. Um, it is an unedited playlist. And if you'd prefer a playlist that doesn't have any explicit words in it, you can pick any playlist really from my yoga playlist there. So a good one, you go back to January, February of this year and just pick, you know, January, 2020. Um, Got a lot of options there for you. Uh, the other thing is that switching to speaker view on this Zoom, I know everyone knows Zoom now, but switching to speaker view um, will allow you to see the demonstrations that I'll be doing as we work through the shapes. I'm also gonna be posting this on YouTube. I'm recording on a second computer here. So if you have a friend that you know might wanna take this class later on, or if you wanna revisit it, you can always pop onto my YouTube page, Isabel Allen Yoga, and, and catch the entire class right there. Um, and then finally, what I want to say is that we are going to be sending proceeds this week to Meals on Wheels. We had such an incredible turnout as far as all of your generosity last week. Like, I can't really think about it for too long because I get emotional. I know. Amazing. Um, I mean, we raised like almost $850 um, for charity last week, which is like incredible. So anyway, we're going to be focusing on Meals on Wheels this week. And I'm going to go ahead and admit our last person here um, and we'll go ahead and get started for the playlist we'll do a countdown and we can all hit play on shoot so we'll do three two one play um, and let me go ahead and get mine open up here so I'll count on down all right you'll notice at the beginning of the playlist that there are two songs that are just silent tracks um, <laughs> and for those of you that have taken class with me before, you know, this is like the part where I'm just going to like talk your ear off for a little bit. So, uh, make sure your place is not on shuffle and we'll go ahead and get started here. Um, three, two, one, play. All right. And then you can find your way to your mat. Ooh. Let me go ahead and get everyone, you know what, everyone pause your playlist. <laughs> I just noticed that we're having a song playing already. So I'm gonna mute everyone here. And then, let's see. Perfect. So if you notice that you're not muted, if you could go ahead and mute yourself, that would be amazing. Um, and then we'll redo that count on our playlist. Sorry about that, everyone. We'll go ahead and mute all. Perfect. Okay. So, all right, pop back over to your Spotify and we'll begin here. Three, two, one, play. Great. So you'll have your silent track playing. And if you wanna make your way to your mat here, we'll go ahead and begin. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. As you find your way to your mat, I'm gonna offer the invitation here to begin in child's pose, if that's comfortable for you. All right, so child's pose is going to be knees wide, big toes touching with your arms long in front of your body. Just giving you a chance to really stretch out through those side bodies. Now, if child's pose isn't comfortable for you for any number of reasons, please, please, please know that this is your practice. This is your time. And I want you to find a shape that feels good for you. So you're always welcome to come into a comfortable seated position. You're always welcome to find just a simple resting on your back. 
or even legs up the wall, anything that feels really good to you right here. But as you settle into that shape, I'll encourage you before we do anything else to just take a really big breath in through the nose and then open your mouth and sigh it out. Let's do that one more time, full inhale. And then open mouth, see what you can release. Breath in through the nose. And this time sealing your lips and just exhaling through the nose. Breathing in. And breathing out. Inhale here. And exhale here. And then you can continue with those long, deep breaths in, those extended exhales, or you're welcome to settle into a more natural breath cycle. Any type of breath that allows you to feel comfortable, feel at ease in the space that you're holding right now for yourself, choose that. And then I want to talk a little bit today about a couple different topics that we'll explore throughout class. Um, I'm sure some of you are not going to be shocked to know that I've been watching the Michael Jordan documentary series, The Last Dance. Um, and I'm sure a few of you have been too. This has been like the closest thing I can find to sports right now. And I've been enjoying every second of it. And, and one of the reasons I really enjoyed it is because I'm learning a lot of new things. Like when Michael Jordan was finishing up his career, I was just getting interested in basketball. In fact, I wasn't even really interested in basketball. I started playing because it was like an in-between sport for me. It came between volleyball and softball. Um, but once I started paying a little closer attention, obviously everyone knows Michael Jordan. I mean, if you don't, here's what you need to know. He is known widely as the greatest player of all time. Um, he's won six championships, five MVPs, um, and, and he's, he's incredible to watch perform. Now, the reason I want to bring this up today is that something that's been on my mind a lot is this concept of eccentric contraction. And eccentric contraction is a way that our muscles work and the way that we use them. Eccentric contraction, one way to think about it is when we are extending our muscles in a bicep curl, you are adding a load to the bicep as you are lengthening the muscle. And you're probably wondering like, what does this have to do with Michael Jordan? And why is this all coming up in a yoga class? And, and to me, when I'm watching Michael Jordan play, he is lengthening his body. He is working as hard as he can. It is moving in every direction at once. And it's also strong along the way, right? It's the difference between stretching your arms out and letting them hang limp and stretching your arms out and trying to touch the walls on either side of you. So we're going to explore this idea of eccentric contraction today as we work our way through our practice. So as we ease into this, I'm going to encourage you to feel the way that your body is resting on your mat, how the breath moves within the body, what it's like to feel your arms, if you're in child's pose, maybe stretch out just a little bit longer here, breathing in deeply through the nose, and then breathing out. And we'll inhale here again, just to walk those fingertips a little bit further forward. And then exhale to anchor down through your palms. Now we'll breathe and find our way up to a tabletop position, no matter where you are. We'll take the next few breaths to find ourselves on all fours. So shoulders over hands-ish, the hips over knees-ish. Maybe swaying those hips from side to side. Maybe swing the whole body here around in circles. Breathing in deeply as you do so. And then breathing out. And eventually settling into an all four shape that feels comfortable. But for today's purpose, let's take those hands and walk them a step or two forward in front of the shoulders. That allows us something we can press into. It also brings the hands out in front of the shoulders, reducing the crease at the front of the wrist. So for most of us, a little bit more comfortable. You can even keep your eyes closed here and we'll simply begin to stir our bodies around. So we might continue swaying the hips from side to side. It might feel good here to move into some traditional cat-cows, dipping the belly and opening the heart. 
it might feel good here to round through that spine, finding a traditional-ish cat pose. But we'll breathe in through the nose one breath at a time and breathe out through the nose here one breath at a time. Together, it's a full inhale and a full exhale. Now settling back into tabletop, we'll breathe in deeply. Settling back into child's pose, knees wide, big toes touch, we'll breathe out. And noticing the difference. Noticing here, instead of just resting in our child's pose, how we can experience a full body moment. So arms walk a little bit longer, hips heavy towards the heels. We start to notice the breath moving in between the ribs, expanding the rib cage from right to left and left to right, expanding the rib cage from tail all the way to the crown of the head and then front to back as well. So we start to notice the full body experience, this full body centric contraction that is vinyasa yoga. When I watch Michael Jordan play basketball, it's like nothing else matters, right? In that moment for him, his only focus is on what is happening right in front of him. I've got a quote here from him from years ago. He says, the basketball court for me during a game is the most peaceful place I can imagine. On the basketball court, I worry about nothing. When I'm out there, no one can bother me. And this is what we talk about in yoga all the time, right? When we focus on where we are, when we get actively present, everything else kind of fades away. So as we work our way through these shapes, can we start to seek that, to kind of fall into um, what's sometimes called the flow state, the flow state that allows everything to fall away, our focus to become only the present moment. But slowly, on our own time here, find our way up through tabletop, straight to downward facing dog. So curling the toes, lifting those hips up and back, and it's early, right? So work your way through this dog, bending one knee and then the other. Rocking the hips from side to side, right? Sometimes I like to lift way up on my toes, bend my knees a ton and add a little twist to stretch through the side body. Right, but we've all got our own individual creaks that we've picked up over the course of the week or the weeks, maybe even the months here. So instead of pursuing a particular experience, we allow ourselves to pursue what's real. Right? Instead of trying to live in expectation beyond what's happening here, we settle into exactly where we are. And as we kind of settle with the mind, we can settle with the body. Right? Finding a downward dog that serves you just here, right now, today. And we'll take a deep breath in and then an open mouth exhale. <sighs> Breathe in to lift high on your toes and then begin to tiptoe those feet forward to meet your hands at the top of your mat. Pausing for a moment in your ragdoll position, grabbing opposite elbows, crown of the head heavy and a generous bend in the knees. Right? And then the upper body can sway from side to side, kind of like the trunk of an elephant, letting gravity do the majority of the work so that you don't have to hold on to anything, so that you've got nowhere to worry about getting to. We'll breathe in deeply. Nice. And we'll breathe out here. And then allowing those arms to release down towards the toes, shifting the weight into the heels. We'll slowly roll our way to standing just one vertebrae at a time until the shoulders are up over the hips. The arms sweep wide and high all the way up, upward salute mountain pose. And then exhale, hands rest at heart center, eyelids heavy or eyes even closed. We breathe in just here. And we breathe out just here. One more inhale, see how high you can lengthen the crown of the head. And as you exhale, release those hands down by your sides. Breath in, mountain pose, arms sweep forward and up. Tracing the center of line of your body, exhale, bow it all the way down. And we'll breathe in, bring palm positions for our halfway lifted pause. Right? Pausing here to feel the length from the tail to the crown of your head. Pausing here instead of rounding and dumping through the shoulders to draw the shoulder blades back and down. In fact, I want you to think about lifting your shoulder blades toward the ceiling here as you knit through the low ribs. Generous bend in the knees allows this to be more accessible. Take a full breath in, halfway lift. And as you exhale, bend your knees, plant your hands, step back, high plank pose. 
right? So now in our high plank, right away, we use the tools we've got already. Hands a little bit in front of the shoulders, strong through that core, eccentric contraction, essential right here, right? So the arms are just as strong as the shoulders, just as strong as the core and the chest, just as strong as the legs and the glutes, and we breathe in. And then with care, gently lower all the way down, maybe finding the knees along the way. Keeping the hands where they are, squeeze the elbows in, breath in for a low cobra, but this time pause, hold here and breathe out. Think about lifting the shoulder blades down and back and then up towards the ceiling so the heart expands. Pressing down through the pubic bone, down through the toes, we inhale one more time. Exhale, releasing the chest to the mat. Pressing up to tabletop as we breathe in through the nose and then drawing the knees in under the hips as we breathe out. Now listen. Inhale, traditional cow. Lift the tail, dip the belly, open the heart, slide those shoulder blades back and down. Exhale, cat. Drop the tail around the spine, pull chin to chest here. Breathe in for cow. Lift tail, drop belly, expand the heart space forward. Exhale, cat pose. Curl your sits bones underneath you as you round through the upper back. One more time, cow pose, full breath in, smiling the collarbone. One more time, cat pose, round through that back body. And then your breath in is a tabletop. And as you breathe out, I want you to press firmly through your left hand. Inhale, peel that right arm high to the sky, opening across the chest. And as you exhale, fake out, thread the needle. We're going to hover the right shoulder under the left. Now pause here, take a big breath in. Exhale, can you reach a little further, right? That eccentric contraction that allows you to engage and to stretch breath in, right arm high to the sky. And then breath out, right arm reaches straight out in front of you. Now, before we move on, I want you to notice if your hips are getting sassy or if you're dumping through the belly, zip up through the core, lengthen through the spine and extend your left leg out behind you. From here, we breathe and again to seek that max length. And as we breathe out, it's elbow to knee, chin to chest. Inhale, spinal balance, body gets long. Exhale, elbow to knee, round the spine, chin to chest. Now, one more time, big breath in, body lengthens. And then pause here. As you breathe out, bend the left knee. We're going to take our right hand and sweep it up, over, and around. All the way so our thumb points down. Yeah. And then grabbing the big toe side of our left foot, we begin to kick into our right hand. Full inhale. Heart space stays open. Full exhale here. We've got one more breath in. Can you lift your left thigh away from the mat a little bit more? And as you breathe out, release no slingshot. Inhale, reach the right arm forward. Exhale, right hand finds the mat. Curl the right toes under. Breathe in three-legged dog. Left heel lifts up, up, up. And exhale, settle downward facing dog. Couple rounds of breath here to feel where you are. To notice where you're holding back to notice where you might need to push a little bit further. Positive psychology talks about flow state as, um, maybe we commonly think of it as the zone, right? It's when we're immersed in a feeling of energized focus, full involvement, being pulled forward by our biggest goals and yet happy where we are right now. It's a feeling of growth. It's a feeling of being lucky. Right? So if you think about the greats, these people who navigate their lives pursuing their biggest passion, that's because they practice it all the time. They practice it in everything that they do. They practice it in moments that no one's watching, moments when no one will ever notice. So right here in this simple downward facing dog, even if it's like this 10 millionth downward dog of your life, how are we showing up? And what is it that we might need to let go of or what is it that we might need to push towards here? Take a breath in through the nose and a breath out through the nose. Nice. Now inhale, lift really high up on your toes, please, in that downward dog. And exhale, bend your knees, look at your hands. Either step or hop your feet forward, forward fold, uttanasana. We'll breathe in for that halfway lift, palms to shins or thighs. Again, that generous bend in the knees. And then this will slide the arms out behind us, right? So instead of relying on our hands to hold us up, we're engaging through the muscles and expanding through the chest. So now we lift the shoulders up and back, and then the shoulder blades themselves draw towards the ceiling. Back to the hands lifts up, pinky squeeze in, zip through that low belly, take a really big breath in. Bend the knees a little bit more as you breathe out. Inhale, chair pose, ut katasana. Right. So chair pose, weight in the heels, scoop your seat underneath you and then arms reach forward and up. 
We take a full inhale through the nose. No need to push it for right now. Exhale, lean and fly. Breath in for mountain pose. Press through the heels, arms reach up, and then elbows wide. Open the heart, baby. Back bend, but release your hands behind you. Interlace the fingers or grab, grab opposite wrist. Press down through the knuckles, lift through the chest. Forward fold, bend the knees, ring out those shoulders up and over. And then maybe playing a little bit, right? Bending one knee, dipping one shoulder, breathing in, and breathing out. We'll take an inhale through the nose here, lifting through the heart. And then exhale, release the hands, step back, high plank pose, top of a push up. We'll allow ourselves here to come back to that space where we're happy with the effort that we're putting out, where we don't feel like we're selling ourselves short and we're not pushing ourselves beyond what we need. Let's take a one inhale. Exhale, lowering all the way to the mat here. Nice. This time extend your arms out behind you and much like our halfway lift, we're gonna lift through the chest and lift the shoulder blades, lifting the backs of the hands, squeezing those pinkies in, but make sure the tops of your feet are still down, pubic bones still pressing into the mat. One inhale to choose that active expansion across the chest. And then exhale, release yourself down. Hands by the ribs, tabletop position. Draw your knees in under your hips. Full breath in and full breath out. We'll inhale, take the left hand high to the sky, opening across the heart. Nice. Exhale, fake out, thread the needle, reaching left arm underneath right. Allowing ourselves to pause here, breathe in. Can we reach a little bit further? And then breathe out, rotating through the spine. Inhale, take that left arm high to the sky, open through the chest. Exhale, left hand reaches out in front of you. Inhale, extend your right leg out behind you. And notice if we're falling into that sassy hip thing, maybe a chance to reset. Arms long, strong core, reach the right leg out behind you, big breath in. Exhale, elbow to knee round the spine. Nice, inhale, reach, left hand forward, right foot back. Exhale, elbow to knee, squeeze it in tight. Now big breath in, reach long. Pause here, bend your right knee, sweep your left hand back behind you, right? So thumb is down, we grab the big toe side of our right foot, lifting through the heart, kicking into that left hand. Can we lift the right thigh a little higher off the mat, big breath in. Exhale, release the foot, left arm forward, left hand down. Curl the left toes under. Find your way to three-legged dog, right heel to the sky, and then it's downward dog, we settle in. And one last time here today to take a few rounds of breath in your downward dog, to feel yourself exactly where you are. We're gonna get moving here a little faster shortly, but before we do, can you find yourself just here? without worrying about what's coming next. The other piece of all of this, of our flow state, of eccentric contraction, of what it's like to pursue being present is that we can't get caught up in the stories. We can't get worried about things going wrong or turning out differently than we were expecting. One more quote here from Michael Jordan. He says, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game winning shot and missed. I failed over and over and over again in my life. And that is why I succeed. So who cares if this isn't your favorite downward dog, if this isn't the one you're envisioning, if this day doesn't turn out how you were expecting. It's what we choose to learn along the way. It's how we choose to show up regardless of our expectations. So this downward dog right here, just as important as our future poses. This downward dog right here dictates the way we will exist in the rest of our lives. So take this breath in like you are giving yourself a gift and then open mouth, sigh out any limiting ideas. <sighs> Let's breathe in to lift high on the toes. Breathe out, bend the knees, look at the hands and step or hop feet to meet hands. Halfway lift airplane arms as your breath in, bend the knees a lot as you breathe out. Inhale, chair pose, utkatasana. So another way we can move our muscles, I'm gonna to turn to face you. Besides eccentric contraction, which is going all out, working to press the muscle away from the bone and to draw it in at the same time, is isometric 
movement, right? Isometric movement is kind of like moving without moving. So in chair pose, it means we press down through our feet and then we try to press our thighs away from each other without actually moving them. It's almost like you feel your sits bones separating in your back body. So isometric movement contributes to eccentric contraction, right? The more we give to this moment, the more we get out of it. The more we give to our lives, the more we get out of it. So take a breath in here. Exhale, lean and fly. Inhale, mountain pose all the way up. Elbows wide, baby back bend. <sighs> Inhale, reach high here. And exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift as you are breathing, maybe flying the arms. Exhale, high plank pose. One inhale in your plank. This time, exhale or halfway or all the way. It's up to you. Breathe in upward facing dog or cobra or locust for that matter. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hips lift high. High on the toes, we breathe in. Bend the knees, look at the hands, breathe out, step, hop, or float it. Halfway lift, airplane arms, inhale. Bend the knees a lot, exhale. Chair pose, Utkatasana, we breathe in through the nose. Exhale, lean and fly. Inhale, mountain pose, drive through the heels, reach through those fingers, swan dive forward, leave with the heart, breath out. Halfway lift, maybe fly the arms, inhale. Exhale, high plank pose, plant the hands, step it back. A breath in here to press down and expand the body. Exhale, lower halfway or all the way, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, cobra or locust. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, high in your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, look at your hands, step, hop or float. Halfway lift, breathe it in. Forward fold, breathe it out. Inhale, all the way up, mountain pose. Elbows wide, sigh out that breath. <sighs> Inhale, reach your arms high to the sky. One more time, exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Hands plant, high plank, chaturanga, or skip it, right? Venus and down dog. If the extra push up, the extra back bend's not working for you, no reason to waste your time being there. Instead, choose what serves you. Choose what allows you to show up fully where you are. Breathe in deeply. And breathe out here. And then let's inhale, take our right heel high to the sky. Three-legged dog. Pausing, letting that left heel get heavy. Noticing if we're dumping into the left shoulder, if anything is happening that's, you know, not contributing to the stability of our shoulders. So we're going to take a breath in here. Exhale, knee to nose, roll the body forward. Pause, big breath in, puff up the upper back. Hold here as you breathe out. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, puff up the upper back as you move, step through low lunge, heel toe if possible. Then we're gonna go ahead and drop the back knee. Inhale, arms high to the sky, on Janayasana, low lunge, right? I kinda like to take a minute in my first low lunge and just feel out my hips a little bit. I like a wider stance. I like to find that drawing inward through the inner thighs and then pressing away through the right heel and the left knee. Now once I've got that stability, inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, let the hips descend towards the right heel. A breath in to feel the heart lift and open. And then exhale for half splits. Hands come down nice and simple. We're just looking for an opening in the back of that right leg. So it doesn't have to be fully extended. You already know that. Just noticing where the warmth is occurring, where the length is occurring. Breathe in right here. And breathe out. Now nice and early today, standing splits. So roll it forward, right foot plants, left foot lifts off the mat, right? It's not gonna touch the ceiling necessarily, right? But just finding your balance. I mean, noticing how your right foot is resting on the ground. Noticing if it's possible to shift the weight into your right heel. Breath in through the nose here. And as you breathe out, Shiva squat, let's take a left knee behind the right. Holding here, we'll inhale deeply. Scooping through the low belly, exhale. Now extend just your left leg out behind you as you breathe in nice and long. Exhale, step back, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two, peel the body open, right? And then again, take some time here. Let the pelvis do what it needs to. Maybe a little shorter stance. You might give yourself permission, especially in the comfort of your own home, to try out something you might not normally. Maybe pointing the left toes a little forward, but everything is engaged, right? So once you've got your feet, press down. Press them away from each other. Feel the glutes light up, the core strengthen, the spine lengthen, and then arms get long. Take a breath in. Take a breath out here. And then we'll inhale, reverse our warrior, tip it up and back. 
Pausing here to notice if we're cheating ourselves, maybe the hips sink a little further forward. Breathe in here, even gazing up, spiraling the heart open. And as you exhale, hands come down, tap to frame that right foot. Airplane pose, drive through the right heel, heart lifts. Right, so we find ourselves in the same position as we were in standing splits. This time the chest is just lifting, the heart is expanding, shoulder blades draw up, backs of the hands draw up. Slowly, left leg pendulums forward, and we find our way to standing knee raise. In our standing knee raise, side bodies lengthen, and then we're gonna find figure four, left ankle over right thigh, hands drop to heart center. Same tools apply. Weight in the right heel, seat scoops underneath you, and then we settle in, right? And then we let go of any expectations around balance because it doesn't matter. And anytime we do anything, we get better about it. So especially aware of that internal narrative that's telling you something should be different. Breathe in and breathe out here. Inhale all the way up for your standing knee raise. And exhale, step back, flying crescent lunge. So arms long behind you, strong through that back leg, just as strong through the front leg. Inhale up for our crescent lunge. Nice. And just like on Jayasana, right? Maybe a moment here to kind of feel it out. Inner thigh zip, strong through the back leg. That doesn't mean it needs to be straight, right? A generous bend does allow the core to work a little harder. Arms high as you inhale. Add your twist, right arm back, left arm forward, exhale. We're not here for long, but while we're here, can we reach out eccentric contraction and then zip and twist a little further? Left hand to the sky as your breath in. Left hand to the mat as your breath out. Inhale, peel the right arm up, 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 and exhale, horizon lunge. Roll to the outside edges of the feet and dip the hips. Now pause. Where are we dumping? Can we inhale to lift just a little bit out? Exhale, spiral the heart open. Inhale, lift and rainbow the body. Exhale, wide-legged fold. Full inhale. Long exhale to settle in. All right, another breath in right here. And another breath out. We'll take one more inhale. And then exhale, bend to your left knee, skandasana back of your mat. So maybe the right toes lifted, maybe not, but wherever you are, feel the engagement full body. Weight in the left heel, arms wide open wide, take a breath into where you are. Exhale, low lunge, top of your mat, breath in right here. Read that as chaturanga or downward dog. So hands plant either lower as you exhale or meet a straight and down dog, adding your back bend of choice if it serves you. Hips lift up and back. Together we breathe in. Together we breathe out. One more time, inhale. And one more time, exhale. Left heel to the sky on your inhale. Nice, evening out through the shoulders. Pressing down through the palms, a breath in through the nose. And as you breathe out, knee to nose, roll it forward. Hold here. Puff up the upper back as you inhale. Stick with it, strong core, breath out. Three-legged dog, breathe in here. Exhale, knee to nose, low lunge, step it through nice and easy. Back knee drops right away. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, arms high. Great. Take a little time, side two. Right? I know we were here on the first side, but that doesn't mean the side is the same. So we'll zip in. Sink the hips forward and then arms high. Full inhale. Half splits on your breath out. Right hands release down. Left leg straightens ish. And we just inhale to the tension. We exhale to soften it away. Notice if the shoulders are caving. Can we draw them down and back breath in? And breath out. Now standing splits is your inhale. Crawl it forward. Plant the left foot and lift that right foot. And it doesn't matter how high. Try to feel out the weight in your left foot. So weight in the left heel activates the glutes, allows for easier balance. Give those toes a break if you can. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, Shiva squat. We'll take the right knee behind the left. Again, weight in the heel. Hands can stay on the mat. We're going to breathe in here, see where we can find that expansion. Breathe out, see where we might be able to tone just a little bit more. Now inhale, extend your right leg out behind you. Exhale, big step back. Breathe in for warrior two, peel it all the way open. And then breathe out, settle the hips towards that left heel. And I'm gonna to turn to face you here. And then arms reach long, right? So full body is working, just like in our chair pose. 
you can find that isometric contraction here as well. So down and away with the feet. And then everything adds on. Arms long, big breath in. And big breath out. Now inhale, reverse your warrior, tip it up and back. Perfect. Exhale, we settle the hips a little further. Breathe in through the nose. And breathe out, hands come down to frame your left foot. Airplane pose is your inhale, drive through the left heel, lift the right foot off the ground. Pausing here to breathe out. Knitting through the ribs, lifting through the shoulder blades, we breathe in. And one more exhale. Now standing right knee raises the breath in here. Lift everything up with you. Yeah. Weight in the left heel for balance. Arms reach high first. And then full commitment figure four, ankle over thigh, hands drop to heart center. We full, fill up our lungs. And then we empty them completely. Noticing in these moments of pause, especially moments of balance, if the mind is catching up with us, right? If there's anything we might need to release here. The sort of second rule of yoga is um, to still the fluctuations of the mind, right? To quiet the thoughts that aren't working for us. So right here, can we choose that instead of the what ifs, the wishes and the shoulds? Inhale, standing knee raise, lift it up. Nice, exhale, flying crescent, huge step all the way back here. We'll take a big breath in. And we'll take a big breath out here. Inhale, reach the arms high for our crescent lunge. Now this side's probably gonna be different. Zip through the inner thighs. Maybe bending through the back knee. Hips descending forward. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, add your twist. Left arm back, right arm out in front of you. Perfect. And then we use that inhale to see where we can find them. We'll use that exhale to see where we can commit. Breathe in here, tip it up, up, up. Nice, and then exhale, right hand finds the mat. We'll breathe in to reach the left arm straight up and it's horizon lunge for just a beat as we breathe out. One inhale, we hold right here to lift out of where we might be dumping. And one exhale. Breathe and lift the body up and over, rainbow. Exhale all the way across the to wide-legged fold. Two rounds of breath, inhale. Stick with it, breath out. One more inhale, maybe a little lift through the chest. Exhale, skandhasana, right knee bends. We pause here, maybe lifting the left toes, maybe flying the arms wide, choosing your engagement, your commitment to yourself, and inhale through the nose. Exhale, is a low lunge top of the mat. We take one inhale right here. Exhale, chaturanga, or skip it. Meet us in downward facing dog. Right, if you want that back bend, up dog, cobra, locust are all good choices. Otherwise, settle your way back to downward facing dog and pause. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Let's breathe in to lift really high on the toes. Breathe out to bend your knees, look at your hands, and step hop or float at feet meet hands, right? No such thing as perfection, no such thing as mistakes. We'll breathe in for our halfway lift, fly the arms. Breathe out, bend the knees a lot. Inhale, chair pose, utkatasana. And then settle the hips a little lower. Right, we're not here forever. Good news and bad news is everything is temporary, right? So if it feels okay right now in this moment to keep the arms extended and find that eccentric contraction through the entire length of the arms, then stick with that. Otherwise, hands to heart center and press palm into palm. Find that full body commitment with the hands of the heart. Breathe in through the nose. And breathe out to maybe sit a little lower. Inhale, all together, arms sweep up. Exhale, just to lean and fly. Now mountain pose. Inhale, reach the arms high, elbows wide, sigh out the breath. Ha. <sighs> Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. We're going to pick up the pace here. Halfway lift is your breath. Exhale, hands plant, high plank, chaturanga, or downward facing dog. One breath in. And one breath out. Inhale, right heel high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge, step it through. Drop the back knee, inhale, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, half splits, Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale, standing splits, left foot lifts. And exhale, Shiva squawk it low, lift the chest. Breathe in, extend your left heel out behind you. Breathe out, step back, low lunge. Inhale up for warrior two. Exhale, settle the hips. Breathe in to reverse your warrior. Listen, exhale, hands tap to frame your right foot. Airplane pose is your breath in. We launch it forward and then we knit the low ribs as we breathe out. 
standing left knee raise. Inhale, draw everything up, 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 and exhale, left ankle right thigh. Inhale, standing knee raise, lift. Exhale, flying crescent, step way back. Inhale, arms reach high to the sky, crescent lunge, and exhale, add your twist, right arm back, left arm forward. Breathe in, take your left arm high. Breathe out, left hand to the mat, right arm high. We inhale to lift and open through the heart, and exhale, horizon lunge, dip the hips. Inhale, lift and rainbow the body. Exhale, all the way to skandasana. Arms fly wide, we breathe in. Low lunge, top of your mat, breathe out. It's one inhale here. Exhale, chaturanga or downward facing dog. Inhale for your up dog, cobra or locust, back bend of your choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then right away, left heel high, breathe it in. Exhale, knee to nose, roll forward. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, low lunge, step it through. Inhale, anjane asana, back knee down, arms high. Exhale, half splits, hands down. Inhale, standing splits. Roll it forward, lift your right foot. Exhale, Shiva, squat knee behind knee, heart lifts. Breathe and extend just your right leg. Breathe out, step back, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two, peel it all the way open. Exhale, settle shoulders and hips. Breathe in, reverse your warrior. Breathe out, hands tap to frame your left foot. Airplane pose, inhale. And exhale, hold, tears it through the core. Standing knee raises, a breath in, and figure four, ankle over thigh, breathe out, get low, 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 nice standing knee raise, inhale. Exhale, flying crescent, step it back. Inhale, crescent lunge, biceps by ears. Exhale, add your twist, maximum expansion. Breathe in, peel right arm to the sky. Breathe out, right hand to the mat. We take left arm straight up as we inhale. Horizon lunge, exhale, dip the hips. Breathe in, lift and rainbow the body. Breathe out all the way to Skandasana, right knee bends. Arms open up on the inhale. Low lunge, top of your mat, exhale. One breath in here. Breath out, Chaturanga or downward facing dog. And we pause in our down dog. We take an inhale through the nose. We take an exhale through the nose. Right. Yoga Sutra 1.2, Chitta Vritti Nairoda. Yoga is the cessation of the fluctuations of the mind, the stilling, the letting go. Now, listen, I get it. That's not always possible, especially right now, right? In these times, it probably feels impossible. But what we practice here on our mat, letting go of those storylines, letting go of that fantasy of what we wish were happening, directly affects how we will experience things moving forward. So if we are seeking this full experience, this flow state of life, we can practice that right here. Final push here for all of us. So let's stick with it. Trust our bodies. Follow your breath. Inhale here. Exhale here. Nice. Let's breathe in to lift high on the toes. Breathe out. Bend the knees. Look at your hands and step, hop, or float in. Halfway lift airplane arms as your breath in. Bend the knees a lot, breath out. Chair pose, inhale, arms reach high. And then exhale to lean and fly here. Now listen, inhale, standing left knee raise, draw everything up. And then we'll find our comfort zone in our, in our balancing pose, right? Left ankle, right thigh, hands drop down to heart center. So we know this one, we've got this. We've got some context, we've got some practice. The practice moving forward from here is how we maintain the same inner sense as we add on with the body. So bending through that right knee a little bit more, lifting through the heart a little bit more. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Now inhale, let's draw that left knee up with us. Perfect. We're going to keep our right hand as it is. We're just going to allow the left hand to come down. So palm faces away from the body. Kick your left foot back and reach that big toe side of the foot. So we've got the heart space opening towards the side of a room. We draw the inner thighs together, extend up into that right hand and flex through the left ankle, begin kicking into your left hand for dancer's pose. Right now we're not looking to touch the wall in front of us. We're not looking for a forward fold. We're looking for a gentle heart opener. And that requires everything that we've talked about. It requires our entire body committing to eccentric contraction. And it requires our mind 
committing to full focus or dare I say eccentric mental contraction, right? So as you find yourself here, notice that there's clinging, maybe the jaw, the roof of the mouth, maybe just the expectations, and then see if you can use your inhale to expand beyond those limitations and then exhale here. Standing knee raise, no slingshot, release the left foot, lift everything up. Flying air, or excuse me, flying crescent on your breath out. Warrior two, inhale, peel everything open. Exhale, settle the hips. Breathe in, reverse your warrior. And breathe out, extended side angle. Reach, reach, reach. And then lower that right arm. Inhale, wraps the left arm up and over. Exhale, we settle in. Breathe in, reverse our triangle, tip it up and back. And exhale for triangle pose. Nice, one breath in here, spiral the heart open. One breath out to knit the core in. Inhale for a high flying warrior. So legs stay the same, arms reach up overhead, palms to touch. And exhale, warrior two, gaze over that right hand. Listen, breathe in, rotate on your back toes, step up for chair pose, Utkatasana. And breathe out, settle the hips a little lower. Full breath in here. Exhale, we sink a little bit deeper. Notice the resistance. We take one more breath in, final push here. Exhale, lean and fly. Standing right knee raises your breath and you lift up. Find our balance, maybe. Flex the right ankle, figure four. Comfort zone pose, right? We know this one, we've been here before. Just because we were doing it on side one a second ago doesn't mean that this side will be the same. So if we can let go of that, instead rely on our tools. Weight in the left heel, flex through the right ankle, bend to the knees, and zip through the core. Breathe in here, and breathe out here. Inhale through the nose, and exhale. Now inhale, lift all the way up for standing knee raise. I'm gonna to turn to face you this time. Nice, and then we're just gonna release the right arm down. Draw the right heel back, and see if you can locate the big toe side of the right foot. As soon as you've got it, do your best to draw the knees together. Lift through the chest, nice. And we're opening the heart, which means we keep these low ribs drawn inward and begin to kick right foot into right hand. Drawing the left bicep back all the time. Full inhale. Full exhale. Can we relax the left toes? Maybe even bend the left knee to support a deeper kick. We inhale through the nose. And we exhale through the nose. Standing right knee raises our breath in. We lift everything up with us. Yes, exhale, flying crescent. Big step all the way to the back of the mat. Inhale, open up warrior two. And exhale, settle the hips. Now breathe in reverse your warrior. And breathe that extended side angle. So reach that left arm long. Left elbow comes down, right arm wraps up and overhead. We inhale here to spiral the heart of it. Exhale, settle the outer right hip towards the left heel. Inhale, reverse your triangle, bump the hips forward. And exhale for triangle pose, right? So kick the hips out behind you, left arm down, right arm high. Breathe and spiral the heart open. And we breathe that to settle in a little deeper. Now high flying warrior, legs stay the same. Arms reach up overhead, even out through the hips. Exhale, warrior two. One breath in. And one breath out. Now listen, inhale, rotate on your right toes. Step up for chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, hands to heart center, everyone. We breathe in just here. And then we're gonna bend the knees a little bit more as we breathe out. Now go ahead and toe heel your feet together, right? We're gonna lift up onto the ball mounds of the feet, heels off the mat. Continue to bend the knees down, down, down until your hips are hovering off your heels and legs might be a little shaky, right? But can we be okay with that? Knowing that this will not last forever, knowing that it's okay and is not a judgment on who we are. We're gonna release the hands down to the mat, bring the knees wide so the heels come to touch. I'll turn to face you so you can see this a little easier, right? And from here, hands crawl their way forward. Tuck chin into chest and round through that back. Breathe in and breathe out. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Full breath in. Full breath out. Walking those hands in, let the weight of your seat just tip you back. 
And find your way onto your seat, extending your legs out in front of you. Yeah. And just locating those sits bones. Allowing the body to be as at ease as it can be here. Beautiful. Now we're going to go ahead and keep the right leg as it is. Draw the sole of the left foot in towards the inner right thigh. Again, adjusting as necessary. If it feels like the body is already kind of caving backward a little bit, take a moment to bend your right knee, allowing the spine to lengthen and the heart to open. Now arms reach high to the sky. We inhale, chest towards thigh as you exhale. So we're not trying to reach the foot necessarily. We're just looking for lengthening out of the waist, hands down, a gentle stretch maybe for the back of that right leg. So you're welcome to stay right here in this variation, or if you prefer to round through that back body and stretch through the low back, go for it. Breathe in. Breathe out. Fully immersed in this moment, we inhale. Fully committed to where we are, we breathe out. Breath in through the nose. And breath out. One more time. Inhale. See where you can sense that expansion. One more time. Exhale. Now we'll roll the shoulders up over the hips, extending the arms high to the sky. Exhale. Place your left hand down by your side. And breathe in to lift way up onto the shin of that left leg. We inhale to expand through the chest. Exhale, can we zip through the low belly? And one more time, we breathe in, maybe gaze up at the right fingertips. Exhale, release your seat to the mat. Nice. We don't have to overcomplicate this. Let's just switch sides. Extend your left leg out in front of you. Bring the sole of your right foot to the inner left thigh. Yeah, find your seat. Heavy in the hips. Again, maybe that bend in the left knee to support the lengthening of the spine and the tilt of the pelvis. And once you've got your comfortable seat, arms reach up and we breathe in. Chest towards thigh, forward fold, Paschimottanasana, breathe out. Oops, John Usirsasana. Oof. And it's an inhale. And it's an exhale. And we soften around those edges as we breathe in. And we see if we can settle in on that breath out. Now maybe rounding through the spine if that feels comfortable. Let's stick with this three more rounds of breath. Relax the jaw, inhale, roll shoulders up over hips, arms reach high. And then exhale is right hand down, breathe and lift way up onto the shin of that right leg and expand through the chest. A gentle toning through the core as you breathe out and then one more lift out of the right wrist, inhale. Exhale, release your seat to the mat. Nice, extend both legs out in front of you. You know, we're just going to bend our knees and bring the soles of the feet to the mat. Bring the hands behind the thighs. That kind of just helps ease the chest up and open, drawing the shoulder blades down and back. Arms reach forward. We'll lower onto our backs here, but with some intention, some integrity. Right? It's not like a competition to see if you can be the last one to lower, but just do your best along the way. And as you arrive, draw your knees up into your chest. A little rock from side to side here, massaging the low back. And then as you're called, allow the knees to fall off to one side. Arms open up, supine twist. And if this is a little bit too much for the low back, you might scoot your hips away so they line up with the shoulders. And then we breathe in. And the eyelids might get heavy now. We breathe out. Sticking with this for a few more rounds of breath. Right, kind of that tricky part of practice where our gaze shifts from these fast external movements, the balancing, the hard work, to these internal movements of the mind, the judgments, 
the thoughts. The good news is as soon as we recognize any sense of distraction, any moment that we're not fully immersed, not in our eccentric contraction of the present moment, anytime we recognize it, that's our invitation to come back. So we don't have anything to prove, right? We have nowhere to get to. We can't really mess this up. Over and over, it's just a practice. And the more reps you get in, the easier it becomes, right? So breathe into where you are and let it be enough as you breathe out. Inhaling just here and exhaling. How about two more? Breath in and breath out. I'm filling up the lungs as you inhale. Emptying them completely and purposefully as you exhale. And then without overcomplicating it or overthinking it, we'll shift to our second side. Knees roll up through center, fall off to the second side, arms can extend wide, and we just let the breath guide our adjustments. So if it's getting caught or if the hips or low back feel sore, adjust the body, either scooting the hips back towards the center of the mat or extending one leg. Whatever is good for you, pursue that. This is not anyone else's practice, right? This is you. This is you showing up just for yourself without worrying at all about what's happening beyond that. And breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale. And exhale. A full breath in through the nose. A complete exhalation. We'll take three more breaths here. Two more breaths here. One last big breath in. And your complete exhale. Gently rolling the knees up through center. We'll draw them tightly into the chest. This time rounding the forehead up to the knees, stretching the top of the back and the back of the neck, really feeling that upper back open. One final pose before we end. Release the soles of your feet to the mat. Palms face down by your sides. Scoot the heels in towards the body and then drive the knees forward to lift the hips for a bridge pose. Maybe tucking those shoulder blades underneath you to continue that opening of the heart. Pressing down through the palms, through the fingertips, the forearms, the triceps, and even the shoulder blades. We'll breathe in here to drive the knees even further away from us, this final pose of eccentric contraction, and exhale, lower the body all the way down. Toe heel the feet wide, knock the knees inward. Bringing the right hand to the heart and the left hand to the belly, a moment of gratitude just for yourself. The choices that you made to get yourself to your mat today, the commitment that you've shown to you, And then you are welcome to finish your practice just like this. If you prefer a more traditional ending pose, you can release your arms by your sides, palms face up. Legs extend long out in front of you for Shavasana corpse pose. If there's another pose that is calling your name, then do that, right? This is your time. This is your practice. We're here for a few minutes to seal our practice in relative quiet relative stillness. It's easy to blow past this part, to skip it, right? Because it seems like nothing is happening. And yet corpse pose or shavasana is really the perfect pose to practice eccentric contraction, to practice going all in on living. Because right now you're not balancing a bunch of different stuff around you. 
you're balancing just the internal. And usually we have to do internal and external. So this is, you know, in a lot of ways, the easiest place to practice. To see where you're willing to soften here. What it is you're ready to find ease around. And without wasting any time on judgments or expectations, we let our minds fall into a flow state here. A feeling of energized focus, full involvement, being pulled over and over to the next moment by our bigger goals, our greatest purpose, but also pure contentment where we're at. And then as we sense inward, that feeling of growth, right, that internal sense of luck. Noticing if the roof of the mouth can find some more ease or maybe the jaw the sides of the neck, the edges of the breath even soften. Breathe in here. And breathe out here. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. One really big inhale, feel everything fill up. And a nice long exhale. And then slowly begin to invite some movement back into your body. All right, the fingers and the toes. Might be nice to bend the knees, bring the feet to the mat if they're not there. And just a gentle windshield wiper of knees from side to side. Yeah, reaching the arms up overhead like you are first waking up. Big breath in. Go ahead and roll off to one side of your body, pausing and using that lower arm as a pillow, finding this fetal position or seedling position. Breath in. Breath out. And pressing your way to a seat as you feel called. Of course, this is your time, your home. So if you'd like to stay resting on your back, then do that. But if your seat is calling, we will meet there. It could be a cross-legged seat, sukhasana, or if you prefer to rest on your shins here, that's more comfortable on the hips. You can find your way to a hero's pose variation. But in this moment, we'll take a really big breath in here and feel our spines grow a little bit taller. And a nice long breath out. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Feel that big stretch through the sides of the body. Open mouth, exhale, hands come down to heart center. <sighs> Thank you all so much for joining me here today. What a treat to be able to do yoga with every single one of you. A moment of gratitude as well for the people and the culture who created this practice of yoga that we all benefit from. It is always such an honor to share this with each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Thanks, G. Thanks, everyone. All rock. So good to see you all. Yay. Have a good day, everyone. I'll see you next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye, you two. Oh, so fun. Oh, my gosh. Hi, Lauren. Donna in the house. All right, cool. You're out, Courtney. Thanks for being here. Chelsea, too. Wow, both of you. How sweet. Amazing. Cool. All right. Shoot me if you have any questions. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.